And today, Alberta has the highest number of COVID cases in our country by far. Thousands of life-saving surgeries are being canceled across our province. Our hospitals are bursting. Frontline healthcare workers are exhausted. School-age children the age group, uh, are the age group with the fastest growth in case numbers right now. The majority of these students cannot be vaccinated. But they were sent back into the class with no safety plan from the UCP. In fact, Adriana LaGrange promised them a normal school year, even though she had known since July that a terrible fourth wave was on its way. It's outrageous that the UCP continues to hide COVID data from parents. Today, I'm calling on Jason Kenney to request military personnel to bolster contact tracing systems for our schools so that we can properly test, trace, and isolate COVID in every school and every daycare. The majority of school-aged children still cannot be vaccinated. And the UCP is deliberately withholding COVID information from parents and from schools, and they're ref refusing to contact trace self um, reported cases back to schools. There have already been 72 children in the ICU fighting for their lives because of COVID. Is the government waiting for a child to die before they take this crisis seriously? Contact tracing needs to start and it needs to start now. We need urgent action to protect health, safety and security of children, families and staff in Alberta's childcare system. This fourth wave was predictable and preventable. Dr. Hinshaw told Albertans that the government knew as early as July that this was coming. Now we are seeing an alarming increase in the number of COVID cases in children, leading to higher risk for severe outcomes. The number of outbreaks in childcare programs are also on the rise. As of October 1st, there are 47 outbreaks in Alberta. Childcare providers need help. They need support from this government that they are currently not getting. We cannot ask childcare operators with already limited staff to be responsible to also contact trace. Jason Kenney must ask for federal support to help trace cases in childcare programs and in schools. If we cannot vaccinate children, then we must make sure to keep them out of harm's way as quickly as possible. Contact tracing will slow the spread in childcare programs and help alleviate the pressure on our healthcare system. As with the school system, we are calling for rapid testing in childcare, tracing, and mandatory isolation for close contacts, including the children in those childcare programs.